Want to learn how to create a VNet to VNet peer in the Azure portal? I'm Cherokee Boost, and this is a quick bite from IT Pro TV. So here I have two non-overlapping virtual networks. I'm going to start with VNet1. We'll select VNet1. On the left-hand pane, you'll see a setting here called Peerings, and this is what we want to select. From there, you can see I currently have no VNet peering, so we'll select this add option. We need to give our VNet peer a name, and I typically like to use the flow of direction to help me create my name. So we'll select VNet1 to VNet2. We'll keep our newer resource manager style, and if I don't specifically know my resource ID, I can select my subscription and my destination virtual network via this drop-down menu. I can't select my current network. We started with VNet1, so I'll have to select VNet2. I also need to provide the transverse name. So here, according to my logic of flow, we have VNet2, to VNet1 because this is just the traffic in the opposite direction. Scrolling down, I have the ability to prohibit bi-directional communication, usually for troubleshooting purposes, but for now I'll keep the default as enabled. Next, just know that you're able to configure boarded traffic and also additional gateway transit settings. But for us, we're gonna create a simple VNet to VNet peer. We'll select OK and really, that's it, that's how you create a simple VNet to VNet peer inside the Azure portal. Learn more on itpro.tv. I'm Cherokee Boost, and this has been an ITPro TV Quick Bite.